Now, for all you nervous Nellies out there watching the stock market correct itself, let's bring in a voice of experience to a reality check a day when the Dow Jones went up 560 points with other two indexes up 2%. David Dodge is a former Bank of Canada governor. He joins me in the studio. Hi, Don. Oof. Well, yesterday, you know, some people said, uh-oh, fasten your seatbelt. Some people said, oh, don't worry. Clearly, the naysayers were wrong. What do you make of it? Look, uh, we have had an extraordinary period with no volatility. We're returning to some volatility and everybody's surprised. I don't think we should be surprised at that. I think that there's a more interesting fundamental question here. All right, I'll ask um, it. <laughs> yeah, uh, the question is why is it when the economic outlook over the next 18 months uh, really looks pretty good uh, on the world basis. The IMF has us growing well above the global speed limit for the next uh, couple of years. Right. They've got the U.S. growing well above their speed limit for the next couple of years. Um, how is it with this happening and, and at the same time, uh, the U.S. government giving uh, equity owners an enormous gift uh, in terms of a big tax cut. Um, so everything looks absolutely rosy in, in the garden going forward. How is it then that people have got nervous? Uh, well, they've got started to get nervous quite legitimately and maybe should have got a little more nervous a little earlier. But they've started to get nervous quite legitimately because interest rates are likely to rise and rise more than their interpretation of what central banks have been saying for the last couple of years. Right. Uh, and so if interest rates had, were likely to remain long rates, U.S. 10-year treasuries, the benchmark were to remain, have remained at kind of 2%, then these price earnings ratios that we're seeing in the market with expectations of earnings continuing to rise, these price earnings ratios, although extraordinarily high by historic standards, uh -huh. didn't look so bad. Why? Because long-term rates were very low. Right. Now put yourself in the mindset that long-term interest rates may return to something that they looked like uh, prior to 2008, i.e. Right. Uh, during the, 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 the period, the great uh, quiet period of growth prior to 2008. Um, put yourself there with interest long-term rates near to four rather than two. Mm -hmm. Then all of a sudden, the price earnings ratios, even with a good thinking about good earnings mm -hmm. going forward, look extraordinarily high. Okay. Uh, and so these people will become a bit nervous and, and the likelihood of those interest rates, those long interest rates moving up mm -hmm. uh, it is increasing and the perception of those increases moves in jerks. Okay. And that was really what happened over last Friday and Monday, right. is that all of a sudden, uh, almost like a light switch turning on, the perception was that it, inflation was gonna be higher and those long rates are gonna move up, and so the price earnings ratios are just too high to be sustained. All right, so you heard Morneau talking about that, and you've heard you know, US figures that, so uh, it is, is there any panic at all? I mean, where do you think the market's going to go? Are they going to lean towards the 4% interest rate scenario, or are they going to realize maybe it will stick at 2 or thereabouts? Well, it, it's not going to stick at 2 if, indeed, the rosy economic outlook that I just right. described uh, transpires. Okay. Now, we have been very surprised. We as economists, we who watch mm -hmm. what's going on in, in, in Bill Morneau's real economy, we have been surprised that inflation has stayed as low as it has over the last, let's say, six quarters. Mm -hmm. or so certainly, the economy was roaring. You know. Certainly since the middle of 2016, huh. when the economy is strengthened, when we have now achieved at the end of 2017 
uh, uh, unemployment rates that are below those that we'd achieved prior to 2008, where we have uh, capacity utilization mm -hmm. ratios at high. So we've been surprised, in fact, that there hasn't been more wage inflation and more price inflation right. uh, along with it. Okay. And we just started to see glimmers of that wage inflation, uh, which we've been expecting, but hasn't materialized. Okay. And I think as people saw those glimmers, they saw the glimmers last Friday in the uh, US jobs report, yeah. that, the, that all of a sudden wages were up 2.9%. Well, that's not an extraordinarily high level of wage growth. No, it isn't. But it's different. Okay. And so I think the, there was some nervousness began to creep in that, gee, maybe we better pay attention to something that we've learned not to pay attention to for the past <laughs> couple of years. All right. I think I feel a little bit better. At least I understand what's going on. Uh, David Dodge, always a pleasure having you on. Thank you for Good bringing that you, perspective. Don. All right.